こんばんは。私はペーパービーフトゥースパイシーです。元気ですか So, how's it guys doing? t e r r y b o o k t o o Spicy here.、Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Now, I know I said、uh, back in August that I would do a monthly V blog to,、uh, you know, talk about things of the channel every month, but,、uh, well, one, two things happened, which is why I didn't do one in September. One, not a lot of stuff happened in September. Two, I got really busy with adjusting to the school life that I couldn't find time to do a,、uh, what she calls it, V blog sort of thing. So I'm merging September and October together because pretty much October is over and September is over already, and not, not that much happened in October and September anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I'm merging two months and then one. I'll try not to do that, but you know, whatever. There's been a lot of school work, um, Because you've been noticing that the, the video outputs have been getting slower and slower ever since the last thing I put up was the Tekken 7、uh, gameplay footage、uh, analysis.、Uh, that's like,、um, that was like two weeks ago or something. That's the last major content video I've done in a while.、Uh, and then I post some gameplay videos as, as I usually do. But even those have been like, getting really slow. I haven't uploaded something in a week. And it's mostly because midterms just finished.、Um, and they were very exhausting. I'm very. Burn out. Burnt out. It's not burn out, but burnt out. Not like burn out the game, but I'm burnt out. Thought that I was gonna be able, because this weekend that I'm recording this right now, I thought I was gonna be able to、uh, record something for the channel, because it's not like I'm out of ideas, because I still have plenty of ideas. I was just like, I couldn't find the motivation to work. I was just like, ugh, I just wanna play Skyrim all day. Pretty much that's what happened. I just played Skyrim for like three days straight. And w- I tried to watch a movie, but then some crap at the movie happened. like, Hopefully, next weekend I'll be able to get back to it. Because、um, I, I still have plenty of ideas for、uh, videos. I'll get to that in a second.、Um, business, just, I've been just working. Like, I'm doing alright in Japanese, but it, it's pretty hard. There goes my phone. What's,、um, what's going on with my phone? Oh, thank you for telling me that a r i s is streaming.、Uh, the intro that you just saw, which was me talking in Japanese, very basic. I just said, you know, like, good evening, how you guys doing? My name is p e p p e r i t o Spicy. Whatever.、Um, some people saying, like, hey, maybe you should do some Japanese like stuff. Like, you know, teach us how to speak Japanese. I'm intrigued by this idea. I do like teaching people, it's just something that I enjoy. But I'm not that great at Japanese. I've actually, I guess I want to say I'm not that great at writing it and sentence structure. That's probably my biggest error. But, like, lang- like the actual language, like understanding it and like speaking it. It's like,、uh, it's pretty easy for me, but the writing portion, the reading portion is,、uh, well, it's a little bit tougher. My handwriting is not good in English, and as a result, it's not good in, in Japanese, but yeah, what can you do?、Um, Alright, so like,、uh, I have a special announcement at the end of this video, so、uh, if you guys want to get to that part, probably skip to whatever, whatever, but you know, just stay tuned. I have a very big announcement in general. Uh, that you probably would want to hear if you're keeping up with the channel. And I'll say that at the end. I'll just quickly go through the rest of the stuff here. Second seven,、um, as we saw the gameplay footage and you know, avoiding the puddle and level up your game, many other people did their analyses of the gameplay footage.、Um, I've seen a lot of the super arts. I saw laws. It looked, it looked okay. But、um, the bigger news is that other than the second seven,、um, the gameplay footage, Harada was interviewed after the location tests were finished. And he,、um, what you call it, he gave some info about the game、uh, and what the location test and how people felt about it. And that、um, there were a lot of stuff that he wanted people to find out, but he didn't find, they didn't find out about the game. And he also revealed some developmental stuff that's going on with the build of the game. I won't say too much right now because I want to do a, a specific video for it. But basically, he said that the current build that was at the location test, the current build of the game that they're working on as the final product, that was. Two months ahead of what we saw at the location test. So the location test was two months old as a playable build. So the new, the, the, the most update build was two months ahead. And probably now it's like three months ahead now because, you know, it's been a while since the location test's wedding. So Tekken 7. And、uh, I, I, there was a big interview and he, there was a lot of questions asked. And I think I'm gonna do a specific video for that.、Um, that alone.、Um, that's what's gonna happen there. Um, oh, yes.、Okay. There was a rumor that Tekken 7 would be released somewhere within spring 2015. I saw a couple news articles, but I do not think this is anything confirmed. This is for an arcade release. 
and I don't think that's gonna be the case. I'm not sure whether they released the game this early, we considering it's, it's already like, you know, they announced it at EVO and now they're releasing it, like, you know, less than a year later. It just feels like, mm, I don't know how long they've been developing this, but, you know. And it was whatever thing, it's like, okay, so it's a arcade release in spring, so it's about the same time as Pokken Tournament. I don't know, it's just a rumor, which means that the console version would probably be like five, four months, five, five, half a month, half a year to a year away from release. We'll just still have to see uh, what's gonna go on with that. Alright, so that's most of the Tekken 7 stuff that's out of the way. Um, and the, I, like I said, most of the content's in the big interview, so I'll talk about that later. For the channel, um, Tekken Top 10 is still a series that's a go. I have like a lot of ideas for what to do for Tekken Top 10. It's like, the thing I like about the Top 10 series is like, it's a series that everybody who likes Tekken can get into because, you know, some of my stuff is, or actually, actually most of my stuff is like uh, catered to people who understand how to play Tekken, who know how to play Tekken, or like are looking to get on, to get into understanding how to play Tekken properly. So, um, I thought it'd be cool to do a video series where like not only will competitive people get it, but also people who are like, you know, they like Tekken the series, but they're not so good at it, so they don't understand the technicals of the, the gameplay. And so, like, you know, do stuff about the story and do stuff about like the characters and like the stages and the like, gimmicks and Easter eggs and all that kind of stuff. I think it's very fun and I enjoy doing them. And some people think they're kind of funny and uh, I appreciate that. The, 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 com the comedy is not original. Like, my, the words I say are original and the, and the ideas I have are original, but the concept is based on WoW Prendor's pointless top 10 series. I'm obviously citing him as the influence, even though everything I did was original. It's pretty much based on what he did. So if you want to look you want to look at why I did it that way, just search that up, pointless top 10 by WoW Prendor. Although he does it for World of Warcraft, I do it for Tekken. Um, some people also suggested that I should do uh, commentary, like play-by-plays, of specific matches that I do. Um, I don't know about live commentary, like commentating while I play, because I tend, when I play Tekken offline with like people in like sessions or like, you know, majors or whatever, um, I tend to talk a lot about like, oh damn, it's like, oh that was weird, it's like, oh no, it whiffed, it's like, oh no, what are you doing? You know, but like, that's not really commentary, that's just like me reacting to things happen. I'm a very vocal player when I play. Um, that's not really commentary though, so if I were to do commentary for a match, I'd have to do, I have to pre-record it and like, you know, watch a match and then commentate for it. I'm not, you know, I'm not, you knew, I'm not uh, experienced in that kind of regard. I was never a stream commentator or anything like that. So, I don't know how that's gonna go. I could try it out and see if I like it. And if I like it, I'm gonna keep going with it. Uh, in terms of the non tekken stuff, since, you know, I know, I know most of you are subscribe to me for the Tekken, so I don't want to get that out of the way first as the main stuff, you know. Uh, I've got two Let's Plays planned, of course Dragon Age, but Dragon Age, man, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get out two games before the release of Inquisition, but I guess, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter when it, if it comes out, like, you know, like, I start the Let's Play of Inquisition as soon as the day comes out, like, I could start like a week after it, but I think I'm planning to like record at least an hour a day if I'm getting back into the swing of things, ideally an hour or two hours a day of Dragon Age. And I think I'll be able to finish it kind of fast because I'm very experienced with the game. So I should be able to finish that quickly if I do about two hours every day of recording and edit and upload those parts as they go. Um, but, you know, that's just... Uh, so yeah, they're going to get the Dragon Age out of the way. Because um, I'm super excited for Inquisition. Can't wait to play it. Originally, I was going to buy Evil Within. But, you know, I'm not... The thing, I have like a thing, because like, I like Resident Evil, I like Silent Hill, but like, I don't think those games are really scary. Because like, it's survival horror, but as in like, you fight like monsters, like, like, horrible, disgusting, gore monsters, but like, I don't know, I, I feel like that's not scary, I mean, I feel like you need an atmosphere of dread, or like an atmosphere of scariness, something like, because like, there's a distinction between people call like, genre survival horror, and then action horror, which is like Resident Evil 4 and 5 and 6. And then there's like horror horror, which is like amnesia and Slenderman and uh, I don't know what she calls it, like uh, Call of Cthulhu. Oh, that's kind of like action horror too, though. Um, like Five Nights at Freddy's, like straight up like horror horror. That's why I like I like games in that genre. Although I'm too much of a pussy to play them, I prefer games in that genre. But I don't know because like people are saying Evil Within is a lot like the old Resident Evils and old Silent Hill games, which I like that that they're going back to the roots, but. You know, I'm not. I'm not sure 
whether I want to get it. I've heard good things about it, but you know, I'm just I'm gonna be disappointed if it's not scary. That's kind of the thing. Um, but I guess I'll have to buy it and find out for myself. So I don't know how I feel about the game. I don't know. The second game that I want to LP, um, I'm not gonna spoil that. But I'm basically gonna say that it's not rushed, so I'm not gonna prioritize it. But I'm basically gonna say I'm gonna try something new with it. I'm gonna try. A different kind of commentary, and you'll see what I mean when I when I finally get around to it. All right, so that's most of the stuff that's going on for the channel. Um, life is just like I pretty much said it. My life has been consumed by just schoolwork, which is nothing really too interesting. Although the my special announcement, which is I'm about to say in like five seconds, is related to this. Is well. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be in the United States for the next six months in the beginning of 2015 because I'll be in England, specifically Manchester. Manchester is a city in England and I'll be there studying at the University of Manchester. So there you go. I'll be there. I'll be studying there because I'm going to study abroad. Woo! For that. Congratulations to me. A lot of work. A lot of money too that I'm gonna pay for. I'm gonna be in more debt, but hey, experiences. Going to Europe. So if any guys in England, I know Zetroid YouTube is there in Manchester. If any of you guys in Europe or in England, I'm gonna be very close to you guys. And well, there you go. This is your only chance to see me if you ever want to see me. But yeah, because I heard there's a good Tekken scene in uh, England in general, but also in Manchester and in London. So you know, hopefully play some of you uh, British players. See what uh, see what happens there. But that's my announcement. It's very it's very. Uh, it's very brief, but it's very big because I've never gone to Europe before, so very exciting. And I've got these all these applications to fill out and all this paperwork to do, but it's a lot of work, and I'm super excited. And so, but the thing is, it, it won't. I'll try not to let it affect my YouTube channel because I want to bring a way to you know record and like you know do work over there, like program, like video editing, video creating. I'm gonna do a lot of videos over there, definitely. Uh, definitely gonna bring Tekken over there. That's like that's no, there's no argument. I'm gonna bring Tekken, um, and uh, I mean that's pretty much it. I'm gonna bring Tekken there. I'm gonna bring games there. I'm gonna record there while I'm staying over in England. So it's not gonna affect the channel too much. You'll probably see new videos about my experience in England, but that's probably stuff that's gonna be planned later. Um, Cause I don't want to let this run on for too long. So that's pretty much it. So. Uh, I guess that's all for September, October. Um, in the spring I'll see some of you British guys, maybe. But more stay tuned for next month and so on. And stay tuned for more videos. Um, I guess one last note is that other series that I've been planning about, like, like doing Tekken 4, like Tekken endings in like gameplay or like the influencers, eh, those are like kind of on hold. At the moment, I don't really have any big ideas for influence series at the moment, um, but I guess we'll just have to see where that goes right now. Um, but we do have a lot. I we I have a lot of videos planned up for lineup, and if I get my lazy ass to work, well, we'll be seeing some things. So hopefully, I get my ass and I start motiv get motivated and I start working. But other than that, I think that's all I have to say. So it's been pepper spicy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I think. And I'll see you guys in another video. Sayonara!